in Nubu Mountains we have diverse cultures. We speak over 50 different languages and uh, we have different uh, culture, dances, uh, playing and our people they are very strong. And even here in Yida we have uh, uh, people practicing their cultures, different cultures. Uh, they are living together as uh, in harmony and uh, yesterday we have attended the wrestling of the Nuba, uh, one of the best wrestling I, uh, in, the, in the camp here. And uh, we hope by moving the camp to another location, I hope people will be able to preserve their culture because moving uh, far away from the homeland, sometimes the culture is affected. <laughs> People came here after the war broke out in Nuba Mountains in June 2011. Then the air combatment, the hunger, people have escaped here to take a refuge in this refugee camp here in South Sudan. The majority of the people are Muslim and uh, we live together in harmony. Like in the camp here, we have mosques, we have churches, but people are staying together. The government of Khartoum is bombing the, the, the non-Muslims and the Muslims as well. This camp is bombed last November and uh, that was the terrible. And uh, still now, um, as I move around in the camp, I see some people, they dig uh, fox holes. The state of education is remaining one of the big challenges for the people of Nuba because many teachers who are coming from Uganda and Kenya but after the war they left the Nuba mountains and many schools have been closed and many children have come to Yeda refugee camps and there is no education here People have escaped here to take a refuge in this refugee camp here in South Sudan. Because the same government who bombing people in Darfur, committing genocide, is the same government. Preventing the uh, humanitarian aid and uh, bombing people, civilians, and this is uh, counted as uh, ethnic cleansing because even the farms were burned after people labor to, to cultivate but at this time of the harvest they are dropping the bombs on the farms and the farm gets burned so if we did not die by the bullet we will die by hunger